what's up guys it's your girl quiet storm 915 or simply shawnee b welcome to day three of 25 days of vigness So, as I said a few minutes ago, welcome to day three of Vidmas, where I post a new video every day for the 25 days of Christmas. Um, so, today I am going to be filming a craft with me. Some of you may remember I have my own business where I make handmade clothing and apparel so I'm going to be making one of my bow ties um, I make and sell a lot of bow ties y'all but with it almost being Christmas today is December 3rd um, I'm going to be making them in Christmas uh, print so I just thought this would be like a fun little you know video idea so I hope you guys enjoy it um, and I won't talk too much I'm gonna get right into it all right guys, so my shop offers three different styles of bow ties, as well as, I guess, neckties. So, the first kind is the kind that you tie yourself. I, myself, don't know how to tie a bow tie, so, but I make them. <laughs> So I make those and then I make the kind with the elastic neck band and then I make this kind which is a clip on and you have this little clip this is cute by the way but this is the kind that I'm gonna make this is the kind that I sell um, mostly because I guess people don't know how to tie bow ties but this is what we're going to be making. So what you need is as follows. So I have an 8 by 10 piece of fabric. This is going to be the print of the bow tie. You need a piece of interfacing the same size 8 by 10 which will give the fabric some um some body so that it's not you know flimsy you will need well to make the ones that i make these are two inch um alligator clips which i love to make my um clip on bow ties you'll need a few pins I love the button kind because you can sew over them on the sewing machine. You will need some kind of ruler. And this is clearly just to cut out your pieces of fabric. Um, so my clip on bow ties are half sew, half glue. So you're gonna need a glue gun. Um, you're gonna need an iron. And of course your sewing machine and I already have my white thread in both parts so clearly I've cut out my pieces already so what you want to do is this is the easy way that I do it so there's a sticky side and a 
you know, a regular side of the interfacing. And you can tell the sticky side by the bumps of dry glue. So you want to lay this sticky side up and lay your fabric piece printed side up which would put the glue on the back of the fabric and that way you can iron your interfacing this has to be iron on interfacing or the iron does nothing to it <laughs> but so you want to iron your fabric really good so that the glue melts and sticks the inner facing onto the fabric and you just want to run over it a few times That should be good. And then now it's one piece. And it gives the fabric a little more body. And it, it's stuck on there. So, you know, you can't peel it off. So now the next step is to fold your fabric in half. So you should have a rectangle, not a perfect square. So this way is 10 inches. This way is 8. So you want to fold the long way fold it in half and then I take a few pins along the edge just to hold it in place because I'm gonna sew it and this part it's optional. Like I've seen people on YouTube do no sew. Ooh. <laughs> I've seen a lot of no sew bow ties on YouTube. But the problem for me with those bow ties is this part here where I, I sew mine instead. Because if you put a, a line of glue, when you fold your bow tie in half, it's going to give like a hard... You're going to be able to feel it through your bow tie. And I don't like that. So... <clears throat> what I do is I sew at that part so I'm gonna turn this around and so you guys can see so now you guys can see me sew and I just place it along the edge of my foot And just sew a straight line across and that's that part And so now, you have this tunnel. <laughs> so, this part is optional. You don't have to do this, but since, you know, I do sell these, I try to make them, you know, as perfect as possible so now you just want to take your seam and iron it open so see I just ironed it flat so that when we do the next step, which is turning it right side out, I'm 
and you turn it right side out and you flatten it like we're going to the the seam lace flat so now you want to take the back where you can see where you've sewn it put it as close to the middle as possible and then iron it again Okay. Now what you want to do is seam side up again. You can see where I sewed it. And then this part is also optional, but I again, since I sell them, I try to be as precise as I can. So you want to measure your center point. This is a I didn't mention this in the um like the materials you need but this is a a water soluble marker so when you wash your fabric the pinpoint is gone so here I'm just gonna mark my midpoint it's a 10 inch uh, piece of fabric so of course the middle is at five. So once you have your midpoint marked, you want to take both ends and fold it into the middle. And here is another optional point. <laughs> like I said, a lot of people use no sew. So they would glue this part. They would put glue on both ends and then glue it into the middle. But it leaves, again, another hard uh, seam of glue. I don't like that. So I put a pin. And both sides to hold it still and my seam is here and I'm just gonna do a quick zigzag or overlap them and do a straight stitch down the middle and get it as even as possible because we're almost done So now, here is where all the magic happens. So, the magic happens in my fold. So I pinch the middle, and then I straighten out the sides. And you should see something that looks sort of like a bow. Then I go through the back and this is where I start to glue. So from the back you have one, two, three, three little dips and I put a small drop of glue in all three. Starting with the middle. Just to hold it so that you don't have to worry about more tie it on the part. And just hold it for a few minutes. So it should hold pretty well. Yep, it holds. So that's your tie, and you just sit it aside. Now you can um, use the same fabric for your middle piece. 
but I think I'm gonna find some other fabric. So I'm gonna come back when I find the piece that I'm using for my middle piece. Okay, y'all, so I found the piece that I want and I've already prepped it. It's roughly a two and a, two and a half inch by five inch piece and it's actually the bow fabric that I showed you in the beginning. And I like it on this because it looks like maybe it has like snow. Snow on it, so I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's going to be cute. So I'm going to show you next how I prep my middle piece. I'm going to see if I can get you guys a better angle for this. Okay guys, so you just want to take your strip. And this is probably going to be hard because I am trying to do this in the camera. So you want to take your strip. Fold it in half the long way and iron it. And then open it up and fold each side into this crease. So by that, I mean fold it in half. Fold each half in half. <laughs> And then fold the pieces inside so you just fold the whole thing over and it pretty much just finishes your edges so that all sides are clean okay and now you want to take your adorable little bow and place a dab of glue on the middle and then place your fabric onto it and let it let it seal So it's now connected. And then here's where you want to grab one of your. Sorry about the noise. As you can see, I haven't opened the pack yet. <laughs> grab one of your alligator clips and get it ready. And so carefully, I put little strips of glue onto the fabric and you want to spread the bow and wrap the fabric sorry if I'm out of focus wrap the fabric and let it set And here is where I place my alligator clip. So you can see the alligator clip has this square piece on the top and then this pointed piece on the back. And I like these better. Let me show you. These are the new ones. These are the older ones that I've used. They're actually bigger. Wow. Probably by a half, half inch. But anyway, I like these better because they have ridges so the glue will adhere better. So you want to put a line of glue on the back 
of the clip and then on top of the fabric and let that set and as you can see I'm holding the clip open so that it doesn't get glue on the part that goes onto your clothes And so I hold that for a few and then continue wrapping. But you still want to be careful not to put too much glue. So now this part is kind of tricky. I hold it open, hold open the clip, and you have to fold your fabric over and through the teeth and pull it tight. So that that glue will hold and then I don't wrap more than twice because I don't like it to look bulky but you still want to be careful and only put a little bit at a time and I'm going to show you why so you wrap around and this is why you never want to put too much glue because, <clears throat> excuse me, at the end, I got glue on my finger. At the end, you have to fold this over before you continue to go around. And if you have glue all the way up here, it's going to be stuck already and you're not going to be able to fold it. But anyway, fold it over. And I like to make sure I have enough so that my fold ends up at the bottom I'm sorry so that my fold ends up at the bottom oh. at the bottom of the bow and towards the back so now let me this up so. So now I put my glue down in here a little bit and then press it closed and then I like to spread it with my finger so that it's not a bunch of excess. And then I hold it just to let that set and then there we have a cute little bow you can play with it a little bit to get it the way you want it but for the most part that is how I make my clip on bows and it's perfect for Christmas I wish I had on a shirt where I could clip it on and show you guys what it looks like. Guys, this is what the bowl ended up looking like. I turned, I mean, I changed my shirt. <laughs> and so sometimes I do wear bow ties um, and like a button up. So this is what it turned out looking like. So, yeah, this is it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Once again, this is day three of my Vidmas, Vlogmas, whatever you want to call it. And this was my first ever craft with me but that's all um, comment down below if you enjoy this if you'd prefer to see more videos like this um, and like other things you'd like to see me make and yeah comment down below but for now I'm your girl quiet storm 915 or simply Shawnee B I'm out, y'all, and remember, peace, love, and music.